Welcome to Extreme DIY, brought to you by 8020. With the school year underway and fall right around the corner, it won't take long before those mudrooms, hallways, and entryways are full of book bags, coats, and shoes. Today, let's take a look at an application designed to tackle just this problem, the entryway bench. This modular design combines a functional bench with a convenient shoe rack and ample hooks for coats and bags. The aluminum framing allows it to withstand mud and dirt tracked in from the yard, while also allowing to endure the heavy weight of multiple book bags. The modular nature of the solution means it can be tailored to any space. Customize the size, shape, and color to your needs. Now let's take a look at how this unique design comes together. All right, Phil, what's the plan for this build? Well, Andrew, we've started with these longer profiles here, which are actually for the back of our bench. We're gonna approach this build as if we have the bench sitting on its back. Okay, so it looks like the feet go down here and then the cross supports for the bench and the bottom shelf go here, right? That's right, Andrew. Our next step is we're gonna be taking our other cross support and putting it onto the bottom of the bench frame here. Okay. And once that's in place, we'll be ready for those uprights and for that panel you just mentioned. Great, here you go. Perfect, thank you. All right, we have our uprights in place. We've elected to go with a 1575 profile which is narrower than our standard profile. The 1575 is gonna hold our bench panel, while the standard profile is gonna hold our wire mesh. Now, we haven't used wire mesh in a DIY before. Why'd you go with it this time? Well, Andrew, as you know, winter is coming, and we elected the wire mesh for two reasons. The first reason is it has holes, which will allow dirt and debris to fall off of the shoe. That makes sense. And the second reason is the wire mesh has this protective coating, which will keep the wire from corroding due to salt, water, and dirt that you'll find on the shoe. And as an added bonus, it helps the shoes dry faster. It sounds like a pretty good choice. Now, does it just fit in the open T-slot? It does, Andrew, but with the help of this panel gasket that will fit inside of the T-slot. Now, panel gasket usually goes on after the panel, right? That's right, Andrew, but this panel gasket's a little different. It fits on the inside of the T-slot and serves two purposes. It helps protect the anodize of the profile from getting scratched due to the wire mesh, and it also secures the wire mesh, keeping it from rattling and making noise. It sounds like a good benefit. So what's after all that? Well, once we get the wire mesh into place, we'll be ready to do the other side of the bench and continue our build. Great, let's all do right, it. Let's get this in place. We're ready for the next part of our project. And for that, we're gonna be building a small sub-assembly. We'll be using another 1575 narrow profile on the top and another standard profile on the bottom. Now for that bottom profile, we're gonna put panel gasket in it again for the wire mesh, right? That's right. And then we're gonna be joining the sub-assembly together with some anchor fasteners. We'll get all our profiles in place, preloading our anchor fasteners, and then tighten everything down. Sounds great. Now before we flip this over, we're also gonna be threading in these furniture glides. And these are gonna act as feet for our bench. So once we have everything together and our furniture glides on, what's next? Then we'll be ready to move on to the bench panel. Great, let's All do right, it. let's get going. So this panel type looks like the same one we used in the In Home series, right? That's right, Andrew, it is. Mm -hmm. It gives us a nice modern look and the color contrasts very well against our black anodized profiles. So when we're installing this panel, it just rests on those 1575 profiles we were talking about earlier? Well, not quite, Andrew. There's a little bit more to it than that. Okay, why is that? Well, as you can see here, we have some other uprights that we need to install first. Mm -hmm. And these are gonna consist of some standard profiles and these connector rods that we have. Okay. These will then be used to secure our top panel. Now, how do we bring this all together? Well, all four of these are going to install the same way. Okay. And to do that, we'll secure them to the panel by threading a bolt into the end tap. Now, it's important we tighten these four uprights first because once the panel is on our 1575 narrow profile, it will cover up these bolts. We've gone on ahead and mounted our bench panel by securing it with two bolts in the front corners. Now we're ready to move on to our cross section. This cross section is gonna act as a brace and also mount our hooks. Now to build this cross section, we're gonna be creating a basic ladder shape with two profiles on opposite sides joined together by connector rods in between. To secure these rods, we'll thread a bolt into each end and slide the bolts into the T-slots. From there, we can line them up with the access holes and tighten those down. Once this section is finished, we can drop it into place on the back of our bench 
and secure it with some anchor fasteners. For our top shelf, we capped off the back profiles with one last cross support. After that, our top shelf will install the same way our bench did. It has three holes on each side, so we simply line up the six uprights and secure them down using some bolts. All right, so we have our bench in place and we're just about finished. We're just gonna add one last final touch, and that's some hooks. Now to make these hooks, we're gonna be using some roll-in T-nuts, which we're gonna be placing inside of this T-slot, and then we're gonna be using some bolts mounted to those, which will act as our hooks. Once we have those in place, we can position them however we want, tighten them down, and then we're ready to put our bench to use. The entryway bench is the perfect answer to those messy rooms, hallways, and garages. It gives those bulky book bags and coats a centralized home for quick and easy access, while also keeping wet and dirty shoes organized. It's durable, long-lasting, and completely customizable. Thanks for joining us on another segment of 8020's Extreme DIY. Remember, if you want to download design files or for more information on the entryway bench, please visit 8020.net. But until next time, make it a great day.